Welcome to High V Today with Tony Tone. We're live inside Muscatine High V on 2nd Avenue in Muscatine, streaming on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Now, here's Tony Tone. Tuesday, the 13th of November, this is Tony Tone. I know it says it on the screen and it just said it in that little opener, but for whatever reason, maybe this is your first time watching High V Today. Welcome. We do this show Monday through Friday from inside Hy-Vee off Highway 61 here in Muscatine, <coughs> Iowa, featuring local guests, some Hy-Vee friends, and just covering all the things going on in and around Muscatine County. We, uh, we enjoy doing this, and you can watch us also on cable, Muscatine Power and Water, Channel 5, weeknights at 7.30 and 10.30 p.m., and multiple times on the weekends, and coming very soon... Something exciting. This is called a teaser in the business. Coming soon, something revolutionary. But I won't tell you today. It's also a cliffhanger because you're going to have to stay tuned. Who shot JR? I still don't know. Remember that one? I don't either. All right. You know me, I was a big Dallas fan, okay? Big cliffhanger. Uh, before we get rolling officially, I do want to mention something because a lot of people talking about this. The great Stan Lee passed away yesterday. Uh, pictured on the screen right there, of course, Stan Lee, the mastermind behind some of your favorite comic book characters that have since come to life on small screen and big screen. And what a good life lived, right? 95 years old. And, you know, you can't say enough about Stan Lee. I mean, anytime you talk about somebody that creates things like Iron Man and Spider Man and. That's pretty cool. I mean, these are now multi-billion dollar franchises. And Stan, you have to imagine, back in the day was just drawing stuff that he was thinking of and just inspired generations of people to be creative and uh, to get into fields like, you know, writing and, and even doing some illustration. So that, Stanley, impressive to say the least. Let's say hi to Colleen, Karma, Melody, and Lindsay, who are with us live on Facebook right now. I can see that because my phone's right here. And uh, how about that haircut, huh? I told you I was going to get a haircut. And it happened. Look, going side to side. Is it even? Yes. Nice. I even told the, the lady, take a little bit more off the top. Cut that gray out. Don't want to see that gray anymore. So, yeah, feeling good about that. And uh, we're still just, you know feeling great about yesterday's veterans breakfast and later this morning we'll show you a little bit of the musky marching band performance if you missed it but i want to get to our first guest who is here uh representing spangler chapel and their soup supper event vicky anderson is on the show for the first time vicky welcome to hyvee today well, thank you thanks for nice doing this here. yeah i'm glad that you're here so before we were officially on the air you mm -hmm. were saying that you sing in a band mm -hmm. and i didn't know that yep so how often do y'all perform Oh, we, par we excuse me. We perform one yeah. to two times a month. Nice. We do all the local nursing homes in yeah. the area. Oh, you do in Muscatine County. Yep. How much fun do the the residents have at they the shows? It. They I love bet it. they do. I mean, live music is such a powerful thing, yes. as you know, yeah. for sure. So have you been, and you're not here to talk about singing. No. <laughs> we'll get to the soup supper, but this is just interesting to me. So have you been a singer for a long time, or? Oh, I've. High school, college. Wow. Good retirement. for Retirement. Yeah. <laughs> it's something that you can still do and enjoy, right? Right. That right. is great. Well, I'm glad that you're doing that. Um, all right. So Spangler Chapel. Uh, for those folks that don't know, this is out on Mulberry. Yes. I told you I've driven past it mm -hmm. hundreds of times. Didn't know the name. I apologize for that, by the way. <laughs> but uh, so Spangler Chapel. And there it is right there. There Thank it you, is. Ryan. Yep. Good job. Um, so for folks that drive past it, they, they might know it as the little white 
Church on right. Mulberry. Um, been there for a number of years, I imagine. For 150 some years. Holy moly, that is great. And uh, it's Methodist Church, right? Correct. So the Soup Supper is an annual fundraiser. Correct. Event. And do you know how long that's been going on, Vicki? It's been going on for a long time. My yeah. mom started it when she was, her and some other ladies at the church started it when they were probably in their 30s. Yeah. And it has carried on for at least 60 years. Wow. And we kind of stopped it for a couple of years and now we're starting back up again. This is really exciting. And uh, on Facebook, which is great, you can find Spangler Chapel. And mm-hmm. we're going to put the, uh, the Soup Supper graphic on the screen because I want to ask Vicki. Now, listen, there's the graphic on the screen. Yes. All the details. This is tomorrow, the 14th, from 4 to 6.30. It is held at a different location, however. Right. That is correct. Okay, it's held at New Hope Church, right? Correct. Okay. So, I want to ask, keep it right there, guys. Chili, potato or chicken, noodle soup, hamburger sandwiches, dessert, and drink. Any of those items, the chili, potato, or chicken, noodle soup, any of those your favorites? And do you make a soup? I have to say potato soup is my favorite. Now, is it the kind of potato soup that's a little bit more thicker in consistency versus like a watery one? I'm it's, not... a, it's a nice, it's got a real nice texture. It's not yeah. watery, not yeah. real thick. They're all homemade. Oh. So, yeah. I, I, Vicky, no Campbell's. Yeah. No <laughs> offense to Campbell's, though. You're great. We love you. But you're right. Homemade yeah. soup. Yeah. Especially with how chilly it's been. Yes. Pun intended the last couple of days. I'm a soup I had soup yesterday. Uh-huh. I would probably have soup every day, even if it's 100 degrees out. <laughs> and I, I, I can't tell you, I mean, homemade soup. So are there a couple people making homemade soup, or is it a few individuals making a large batch? It's a couple people making all the soup. Okay. So we will do that tomorrow morning, nice. and then we'll simmer all day and cool down and simmer oh, more. Oh, my and goodness. Yeah. Be ready by 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I was going to say, and I imagine that you'll have quite the crowd at 4 o'clock. Yep, that's usually our crowd. Yeah, early. 4 till 6.30. Yep. Um, if we put it back on the screen, is there a particular, and I'll answer my own question in a second here, is there a particular cost or is it free will donations? It's, uh, I believe, $9. Yep, there it there is. There you go, $9, $9 for, for adults. adults. Okay. 4 for children, K Great. through 6, and children under kindergarten are free. Wow, so for nine bucks, I could have all of the soup that I desire. Is there a limit on the amount of soup I could have? Probably about bowl three, we'll say, okay. (laughs) Bowl three, all right. So I can get through bowl two. I can go up for bowl three, and then I might get the eyebrow. Like, eat your dessert. Right, yeah. Boy, that's a tough one. Will you please have your dessert? Um, And then it's important to note that uh, it is Spangler Chapel's event, but it is at New Hope Church. Correct. And thank you for that. Church. Perfect. So 3215 Tipton Road. And Vicki, explain to the folks that it you want to have it at a place like New Hope because they have more space. I mean, I know that yes. cuz I've been to New Hope. Yes. The city of Muscatine has had their city breakfast uh, recognition breakfast is there and I was surprised at the amount of space. Yes. So that's why it makes sense for yes. y'all, right? And we are like I said an old church and our only handicap accessibility is a chair to ride down the stairs. Gotcha. And our basement is not very big, mm-hmm. and this is just, it's so, they are so accommodating to letting us use their facilities for this event. Yeah, so. I mean, it's it's a great way to bring people together. Yes. And um, if you don't want, and there's a picture of New Hope right there, so in case you're not familiar with it, maybe you drive on Tipton Road yep. all the time and you don't know because you don't attend. Well, here's the thing. It doesn't matter where you go to church on Saturday or Sunday, everybody is welcome to come right. eat soup, chili, hamburgers That's right. and the dessert now you've intrigued me with the dessert i've been on mm-hmm. a diet for a while haven't had a lot of desserts what's going to be on the menu dessert wise do you know can you tell me? um off the top of my head mm-hmm. i'm going what's usually there sure homemade pecan pie homemade angel food cake Ooh. homemade apple pie homemade peach pie Jeez. oh yeah homemade cherry pie doesn't it all sound awesome yeah it does it and might every- even be a homemade lemon or coconut cream you never know oh, my. My grandma, my mom's mom, Grandma Marge, made the best apple pie. Doesn't everybody say that? Yeah. Right? Our grandmas all did. <laughs> yeah. they all, And she also made really good split pea soup. But I know that's not on the menu. That's not on the menu. I tell you what, 
I need to figure out how to make split pea soup because that is such a fall winter item. It is. It? I don't even know how to make split yeah, I don't pea know soup. I think it takes too long. That's the whole thing. I think so too. Right? Like yep. my grandma was patient. I am not patient. <laughs> right? I, I am not patient enough to be like, uh, you know, like watching a pot of, I don't know. I don't even know how to make it. But yeah, this is, hey, there's split pea there's soup. All right, good. Soup. Fantastic. <laughs> um, so why is it important, Vicki, to, to support an event like tomorrow? Um, and, and, I don't want to ask where the proceeds going to go because certainly the proceeds from an event like this will help Mm -hmm. Spangler Chapel continue to operate. Um, But why is it important to do events like this? Um, I mean, certainly you're you're serving folks that that will you know come to Spangler and Mm -hmm. have for a number of years. But it's also just seems like the right thing to do for the community. Right. right? Well, you know, it's a lot of work to organize one of these suppers. Yep. And. Anytime there's a church out there or any organization doing this, it's such great fellowship among the people who are working, Mm -hmm. among the people who are planning it. And we have a great fellowship with the people who come and attend because we all like to talk and they all like to talk. (laughs) It's a good group. Are these pictures from inside? Yes, that's Uh, Inside Spangler. Inside Spangler. Great. Yep. Wow. Yeah. I mean, what a cool place. Some of our Sunday school kids. So do you know how many people attend Spangler? We have, when all our young kids are there for yeah. Sunday school, we may have 20, 25 children. Wow. And That's great. For, well, like the picture you saw there, mm-hmm. we had quite a few children for the children's sermon at, awesome. during the service. So, again, also understanding, you know, connecting young people to the church. Yes. And that's the future, right? Yes. For, yes. for any church, quite frankly, you have to look to the youth. Um, and even folks as young as we're seeing on the screen looks like a Halloween event. Um, that's important, isn't yes. it? I mean, you know, for Spangler to have been open for over 150 yeah. years speaks to speaks to that. Speaks to yeah. getting young people motivated and you know, having them wanting yeah. to be involved, right? And our fa- our kids have come back. Our kids have come back, and mm-hmm. they brought their kids, and it's just. We're one big happy family. I was going to say multi-generational you know, for yeah. sure, it seems multi-generational. like. Multi-generational. We welcome new faces all the time. We sure. love to see new people come. And we usually have an average attendance. Well, you know, every every day, every day church has their bad Sundays. And it sure. might be only 31 Sunday, mm-hmm. but like last Sunday, it was like over 60 people. That's great. So, yeah. It's fantastic. Yeah. And listen, you know, like I said a couple minutes ago, it doesn't matter where you go. Uh, if you want to have a good dinner... Mm-hmm. And a, a bunch of soup, and support a good cause on a Wednesday night. Yeah, I mean, look at it this way: you don't have to cook; you just show up. That's for right. Nine bucks. Won't even have to do dishes. Deal. You won't even have to do the dishes. Vicky. No. What if they want to do the dishes? Do you need volunteers? Oh, we, you we see never Ryan turn right volunteers. He loves to do he dishes. He loves. He can't get enough of the dishes. Well, he needs just to come on out there. Yeah. <laughs> you could. <pay laughs> we'll have him. a lot you of dishes to wash. Pay him in soup and <laughs> pie. Soup and pie, okay. That's a good payment, right, Ryan? <laughs> Can't beat that. So um, you mentioned that the soup supper had, had happened for a while and then it took a break. So is this the first time that it's come back or has it been back for a few years now? We've had it. I think last year was the first year we've had it. Oh, wow. So there was a decent yeah. break before it was yeah. decided to do it again. We tried a couple other mm-hmm. things and we decided, eh, people like the soup better. Yeah, so, they really do, right? Yeah. I mean, you'll probably go through... A uh, ton of bowls, I imagine. Right? Oh, yeah. I mean, based on the fact that you'll probably see, I would say, conservatively, 100 people. Oh, yeah. We hope more than that. Yeah, right. Well, of course. I mean, come out. It's yeah. tomorrow. Or if you're watching this on Wednesday, it's tonight. And maybe it's going on right now. I don't know when people are watching this yep. show. That's um, right. And remember, a uh, three bowl limit. At least. Now, you see, you have three <laughs> options. So if you wanted to try... And I'm not trying to encourage people to come out and have one of each. But if I'm going, I'm trying chili, I'm trying potato soup, and I'm trying chicken noodle. Just okay. just to make sure you don't miss anything, right? You want to make sure it's all good. That's right. That's right. Will the band be performing tomorrow? No, not tomorrow okay. night. I have to work at the supper. I was going to say. Well, you could always... Well, you don't really have to sing for your supper. No. But, but... Maybe you have in the past. I have in the past, yeah. yes. So any upcoming shows for the band? Um, I know you mentioned going to some of the, yeah, the nursing and assisted living places. The last Thursday of November, mm-hmm. we're at Simpson Memorial Home in West Liberty. Okay, so, so that's... Yeah, we do all the up. all the nursing homes in Muscatine County. Awesome. Pretty wow. much. There's one that really doesn't have room for 
yeah. our group because there's six of us all together, Holy seven of us. Holy moly. That is yeah. great. Yeah. And it's all gospel, right? Mm-hmm. That's so great. Yeah, I mean, I imagine, and it's because I've done different events at various places like Sunnybrook mm-hmm. and other places in town, and you just you just feel so good yeah. because you know that the folks appreciate it. Yep. Even if it's, you know, no matter what it is, even if you're just volunteering your time, so there's a shameless plug yep. to get out and volunteer. That's um, right. They just, they just, they got the smile, right? Yes. It makes you feel good. Yes, they do. I it imagine makes you- it makes, it's so rewarding for your group to be able to perform there, right? Yes, it is. It's really... You walk away really feeling good. Anybody ever yell out a request? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Right? Isn't that fun? Yeah, it is. And then you got to do it probably, right? Well, Unless sometimes we can. Unless they're yelling out Freebird. I mean, sometimes, maybe not Freebird. Well, Freebird, yeah. That's yeah. not that's it's not going to be It's too long it. of a song, Vicky. It's nine <laughs> minutes. <laughs> that's right. And yeah. it's not going to happen with our group. <laughs> right. <laughs> I do like the people, you know, they're like, Hey, could you do this number? Give yeah. me an example of a request that someone has asked for and you guys have done. Oh, of course, Amazing Grace and How Great yes. Thou Art all the time, it seems like. Um, the old hymns. Yeah, Amazing Grace is a classic, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. We have one song that people would request that was always, uh, I'll Fly Away. So Holy that's, moly, that's pretty much song. how we yeah. close every program. It's, a it's great just song. such a good song to close with. So. And I'm not saying that there's someone that plays the bagpipes in your group, but if somebody came in the store right now and had the bagpipes and was rocking Amazing Grace, I'd start crying like a baby. I just I can't not do it when I yeah. hear that. It's powerful, right? Yep. Okay. Here's what you need to know. We'll put it on the screen one more time. It's Spangler Chapel Soup Supper tomorrow, Wednesday the 14th of November. Location is New Hope Church off mm-hmm. Tipton Road, 4 to 6.30 p.m. Chili, potato, or chicken noodle soup. Hamburger sandwich. Now, what if I wanted to make it a double hamburger? Is you know that an what? Option? It's a loose meat hamburger. Okay. So, but so it we depends are... on the amount of scoops that are going on. Huh? Yes, and okay. we did decide at the last minute we're going to throw in some chicken sandwiches. Oh, wow. Yeah. Good. This yeah. is a good deal. I'm telling yeah. you what, for nine bucks. So you can have hamburger pressed. or chicken. Yeah. Or for 18 bucks, you could have both. Yeah, probably. How about it? Yeah. You just want to write a hand over a blank check. I'll <laughs> just take that whole great. crock pot of potato <laughs> soup, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, children uh, and children that are kindergarten age or younger are free. Let's scroll to the bottom, Ryan, just so we can show everybody the address once again. Thank you. And carryouts available. Yes. Vicki, we, we would be remiss if we didn't mention that folks uh, that for whatever reason can't sit down and join you, they could mm-hmm. pick up the phone, call in an order, and grab it to go, right? Yep. That is very convenient. New Hope United Methodist Church is the location, 3215 Tipton Road here in Muscatine. Any additional upcoming events coming up? Anything uh, specific holiday programming? You know, we're in that season, yeah. Christmas, just a month away or so. In December sometime, we're having the children's program, and it's always during our church service. Awesome. Yeah. Which is at 1030 every Sunday morning. Okay. And I believe it's the uh, third Sunday of the month. I don't have my calendar with me right now. That's all right. I put you on the but, spot. You yeah. know, and, and we're, we're one of those Methodist church. Everything we do, we have to eat afterwards. So there's always something to eat after that program yeah this so. is i feel like i just need to show up on sundays yeah it turns out yeah. i also enjoy eating on sundays yeah, after there's... right after we service. methodists are known for our eating yeah. i, I mean. didn't know that <laughs> yeah. i really didn't know that yeah i had no idea like if you would have bet me a million dollars you know our methodists known for eating after i would have been like i don't know i'd, I'd be out a million bucks right now <laughs> but now i know yeah all right uh and we should also you know say hi to robin because yeah, hi Robin. Robin. Hi Robin. That's her sister Susan. Yes, Robin and Susan helped Vicky get here. Yeah, so they didn't great. want to be here, so I got. What's funny is that I think they're both here. They are both here. They're both here working yeah. at the store, but Vicky was the one that was mm-hmm. fortunate, lucky, yep. nominated. I was lucky to get to meet you, Tony, and brave these guys. enough to come on. Yes. Right. All right. It's good to see you. Thank you so good much. Good to see you. Listen, come on out tomorrow and support Spangler Chapel and have a good meal. By the way. Right? Like soup for dinner or yeah. supper. I'm not, I gotta be honest, I'm not a big fan of the supper word. I'm a dinner well, person. You know, we're country can, folks, we call it supper. I know. You I, say dinner, people are gonna show up at noon. I know, I just, <laughs> I don't get it. I mean, is it because I grew up where I grew up in the Chicago Probably. suburbs that I just, but it's a thing, you know? Yeah. Dinner, people say dinner and they mean lunch, and I'm like, I, dinner is the last meal of the day. Yeah. It's a whole debate. We're never going to settle the debate. It's a debate in with my own family. Is it really? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, imagine that the conversation. The in-laws all call it dinner for supper. And yeah. 
Oh, um, it's a heated debate, I oh, imagine, right? It's a fun debate. <laughs> I've learned with my in-laws to just not assume that I'm right. That's which probably is wise. Very tough for that's me. That's very wise. Yeah, it's very tough. Especially your mother-in-law. Uh huh. Well, she's <laughs> always right. That's for sure. All right, uh, let's go to the CBI Bank and Trust aisle cam, and uh, we'll encourage you to stop by Spangler's Soup Supper tomorrow. And of course, the aisle cam is in the bakery looking at cookies. Great. Oh, it's just rude, Ryan Broderson. Cookies, my old friend. Hello, sugar and carbs. How are you? Uh, those homestyle brownie chocolate cookies are fantastic. And the monster cookies, though, that might be where it's at. And you know, we're getting close to that time of the year where you need to show up to work or a function with a tray of cookies or a pie or something. The bakery can take care of you. Doesn't matter what you need. They will get you all taken care of. All right, um, Nicole from the pharmacy is going to be here in just a couple minutes. Ryan, I wonder, while we wait for Nicole, there's two things I'm going to mention. The first is the uh, marching band performance from yesterday, Veterans Breakfast here at the store. They did a great job. Thank you to uh, Mr. Jeff Hyde and the students that showed up. I posted a video that I shot on my phone from, oh, you're good, don't worry, from, uh, from my phone I posted this yesterday and you know, as I mentioned, if you watched the show yesterday, and a lot of you did, these students all volunteered and agreed to be here, and they did a great job. So if you missed it at all, here's a little bit of that. I was so impressed with all of those students. Um, they agreed to be here. They volunteered to be here, quite frankly. And uh, there were a series of um, events, like assemblies at MHS yesterday. I don't think any of the students missed out on attending, but um, yeah, the logistics and, and getting them here, I'm glad that we pulled that off. And I'll tell you this, the, uh, the veterans that were joining us at that time of those performances, and I hope that you'll rewatch the show in its entirety yesterday because we had a lot of different fun camera angles from while the, the, the students were here performing, and it just it looked awesome. All right, um, I also want to mention this. TB Mentalism, Thad Burr Camper. His show is Friday, this Friday night, at Muscatine High School in the auditorium. We've been talking about this for several weeks. Thad has been on the show multiple times. You watched a video of Thad and I driving uh, with him blindfolded. His show this Friday is called Focus, and if you've been curious to see a live show, I encourage you do just that. It's 7 o'clock at Muscatine High School. Tickets are $10 each. My plan is to be there. I think I'm taking my oldest son with me. He's six, so he'll enjoy that. And the best way to get tickets is, it's, as it says right there, reach out to Thad on TB Mentalism's Facebook page or he's put out his own phone number, 563-506-9546. If we go back to the TB Mentalism page, they're doing that giveaway, that date night giveaway, and a good opportunity for you to get in on that. And hello to Wayne on Facebook and Debbie and Beatrice, uh, who are joining us live right now. So let's scroll a little bit and look for that post. I saw this the other day, and I wanted to mention it. There it is right there, date night giveaway. All right, so trying to hit 300 likes. When they do that, they're going to take care of you with two tickets to the show, two T-shirts, and a gift card. That is a good deal. So, Ryan, can we zoom out and see where Thad's page is at for likes? Is he getting closer to that number? So right to the right under performance art, what's his number of likes at? 200 and zoom in right there. 286. All right. 14 likes away. I think we can get there. So check that out. A uh, very fun Friday. A good opportunity for you to get out and experience a show. Uh, we want it to be successful because we want Thad to continue putting these together. And focus is almost here, ladies and gentlemen. I like that. It appears that someone lost their focus. <laughs> I saw that he posted that the other day. 
All right, very good. And there's what the tickets look like. So get your tickets and get a hold of Mr. Burkamper. You will have fun. I know that much. All right, Nicole Duhlmeyer will be here in just a moment with the Hy-Vee Pharmacy. She's got some exciting news to share. Uh, in the meanwhile, today is na- it's world. It's not even national. It's World Kindness Day. So think about that as you go throughout your day, 13th of November. Can you show kindness to others? It's pretty easy. You can do it in a variety of ways. You could, you could hold a door open for someone, say hi, have a conversation with someone. Brian Broderson offering to pay for Starbucks for me for the remainder of the month, which is very generous. Thank you. Very kind. Very kind, Broderson. We appreciate that. So uh, celebrate that day. Uh, that's going on all day today. All right. World Kindness Day, ladies and gentlemen. Speaking of things that are happening tonight, so we're doing the show at 8.30 in the morning. If you're watching us at any point this afternoon or even this evening, we're doing bingo in the Market Grill Express until 7.30 p.m. So we'll start at 6 p.m. Bingo, 6 till 7.30. It is free to play bingo. All you have to do is show up. I've got the bingo cards. If you want to bring your own uh, dauber or dabber, however you want to say it, stamper, pen, marker, whatever you want to call it, just bring it and play bingo with us. Each bingo game that you win will set you up with a $5 Hy-Vee gift card. We typically pay, uh, play between like 12 and 16, 17 games of bingo. So a lot of opportunities for you to win. And there's some great uh, specials in the Market Grill Express, like half-price appetizers, half-price draft beer, and $2 mixed drinks. So that is tonight. And we hope to see you at the Market Grill Express. We might as well go to the car cam, and why don't we head towards the pharmacy? I know Nicole's going to be on her way. Um, she'll be here in just like two minutes, but since we have time, we'll send the Toyota Muscatine car cam towards the pharmacy here at Hy-Vee, where folks have been getting their flu shot and also the Shingrix shot, which is back in stock. And Nicole will tell you in just a moment or two that... We might be the only place in Muscatine where you can get that Shingrix shot if you need it, right? And if you're over 50 years old, definitely don't want to have to deal with shingles. So Ryan Broderson operating the Toyota Muscatine car cam. When he turns left here, it's just like Christmas. Ready? Three, two, one, boom. Christmas has arrived. So many things that you need, like stocking stuffers and gift ideas. Yeah. Brian also cutting through the health market right now. Hello, ma'am. I'm telling you, if we had a speaker mounted on that car, I don't know if it would be a good or bad thing. If there was a speaker mounted on that, it might not be the best. Uh, But yeah, so Ryan is going to show you uh, the pharmacy, and then we'll talk to Nicole Duhlmeyer in just a second about how we are ready to take care of you and help you avoid getting shingles. So just past Wine and Spirits, the entrance to the pharmacy here at your Muscatine High V. I've been surprised at the amount of people that have been getting their flu shot, which is great, of course, because the last thing you want to deal with is influenza. And that's the flu, like influenza A or B. That's where you get like high fever, body aches and pains, probably, you know, that's the flu that would put you in the hospital, and Nicole's mic'd up now. Nicole, people get that confused. Sometimes they say, like, well, I had some stomach issues for a day. That's not influenza, right? No. Influenza would include very high fevers, right. aches. Um, might not even be the throwing up symptoms that a lot of people right. commonly think of as the flu. It's more of the aches, the upset stomach, the fever. Those are the concerns that we have. Yeah. So you've seen a lot of people continue to get the uh, flu shot. Yes, we've had just this morning. We've been already busy. this morning. Yes, That's yes. Exciting. This morning, yesterday morning, mm-hmm. flu shots, shingle shots. Those are the big things right now. Yeah. Um, which is awesome because we are super excited to have the shingle shot in stock. We yeah. are the only healthcare providers that have this shot within close to an hour radius of us. Okay, so for folks that are not fully hearing what you're saying, not even local hospitals or clinics have the Shingrix vaccine. That is correct. No doctor's offices or other pharmacies in Muscatine have this shot available. All right, now the thing that I mentioned, um, this is a series of two shots. So my mom, 
who I would never share how old she is, but she's over 50. Okay. Had gotten her first shot, and now she needs to know that, guess what, Mom, you can come back to Hy-Vee and get the second one. That is correct. It how, is- how much time, and I'm sorry to interrupt, but nope. how much time do you need to have in between Shingrix shots? Anywhere from two to six months. Gotcha. Okay. So the thing to note is if you have not gotten your shingle shot, it's here at Hy-Vee, and this is the only place that has it. So you could come in and get it and then come back in two months and get the other one. Correct. Shingles is not fun. Shingles is not fun. It is a very painful, mm-hmm. blistery-like type Ugh. rash. Um, it can the, the main concern with it is you can have a lot of nerve pain. And right. sometimes that nerve pain does not go away. It can be a permanent fixture for the rest of your life. That's it can scary. also, if it gets near your eyes, mm-hmm. you can have to worry about your vision, which what? is very scary. Okay, so, and correct me if I'm wrong, but the Shingrix, the, the shots that we have on the table right here, relatively new. Correct. They're new as of January. Okay. So there was an old uh, vaccine called Zostavax. The new shot is called Shinrix. This one is a two-shot series like we previously talked about. Mm -hmm. It is covered by your Medicare Part D coverage. So it's not your red, white, and blue card. It's not your doctor's office card. It's your supplemental. If you're over the age of 65, it will have a different copay based on what Part D coverage you have. Um, for anyone that is still on their employer's insurance, so from anyone that's 50 to 65 and still, you know, working or on your employer's insurance, it's going to be a zero dollar copay because wow. it's considered preventative. So, so get it now. It'll cost you nothing. It'll be free right now. That's exciting. And yes. there are people, and Ramona, uh, who works here, has dealt with shingles. Mm-hmm. So she was so yep, excited. She's been, on, she's been on the show before, and yeah. she has talked about it openly, um, that she has dealt with the shingles a couple times, mm-hmm. and now she has received the vaccine. So, And I, I don't know for sure because I'm not old enough to get it, but I imagine that similarly to the flu shot, it's probably relatively it's, painless, not even going to need a Band-Aid with how good you are apparently at giving shots. Or maybe is it no, different? Maybe no Band-Aid. It's okay. a little bit different. I will say mm-hmm. it's the same type of shot. So okay. it goes into your deltoid muscle. Um, it's same spot that your flu shot goes. But it is known to make your arm sore okay. for a day or two. Mm-hmm. Maybe cause some achiness. Sure. Uh, maybe just feel make you feel like you have a little less energy than normal. Okay. But... Um, Nothing to nothing. Basically, everyone that's told me that they've had the shingles before, the shot is nothing compared to having shingles I'm glad that and you said, the risk of right. it. Yes. So if you're dealing with a little side effect, that is way better than having shingles. Than having pain for the rest of your life. Yes. Yeah. No good. Yes. And if you don't like needles, you're welcome. There you go. Right on the screen. <laughs> I don't know if the needles that big. Ryan Brothers and trying to scare the folks. It's, at home. it's only an inch. So okay. It's a good. Very Ooh, small needle. That's very good small. to know. Yeah. Um, have you, since the Shingrix uh, shot vaccine has been out, are there? have we encountered anybody here at Hy-Vee that is not 50 years old, that is a younger person that has dealt with shingles, or just it, does it not happen? I have to imagine that oh, there yeah, are cases where someone younger than 50 would need yeah. this shot. And that's yeah. true. A lot of people mm-hmm. under the age of 50 do want it. Unfortunately, it is only for people that are 50 and up, though. Gotcha. If you okay. are under the age of 50, unfortunately, the, the CDC did not approve it okay. until you are 50 and older. Mm-hmm. But it is 95% effective in people that are 50 and older. And that's a big deal um, because it's so effective. So if you just turn 50, happy birthday to you. <laughs> um, this is one of the things you can check off that list yep. to get done, right? Yep. yep. Now, if I... If I was waiting for whatever reason, like another maybe hypothetical situation, if someone came in and they were like, hey, I got, heard about that Shingrix, you know, I'm 55 or whatever, I need to get that done and I should probably get a flu shot. Could they do that the same day? Yes. Or, okay. You can get those shots mm-hmm. on the same day. If nice. you get one, we typically say to wait about a month just to let your body sure. um, take that one shot, get the mm-hmm. antibodies all built up, and then wait a month 
and then get the second shot. But you can always get them on the same day. That's what a lot of people are doing right now. Sure. Um, they're actually coming in for their flu shot, and they're finding out that we do have the shingle shot available. Mm -hmm. um, and we have lots, guys. So if you guys are not on our wait list, please still come in. We have close to 1,000 doses still. That is fantastic. And I'm assuming because this new Shingrix vaccine was so effective and so popular when it came out, that that's why it has been on a national back order. That's correct. Waiting for more product to get. Well, it's it's still on a there. national back order. Except for Hy-Vee and Muscatine, Iowa. Except Muscatine, for Iowa. Hy-Vee and Muscatine, What, do you Iowa. know somebody with the Shingrix company or what? We like, are just determined and we want right. to get people taken care of. So we saw that it was available and we just kept ordering. Even though it said denied, 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 <laughs> we just pushed through it and It's like got trying lucky. to get concert tickets. You just kept refreshing the page, exactly. right? And exactly. they're like, boom, yes. Shingrix. And yes. then you got a whole bunch of them. Yes. Um, yeah, I mean, if anything, right, if you can be preventative with your health and not have a cost out of pocket with that employer insurance yes. or a very minimal copay, mm -hmm. I mean, why wouldn't you? Because the alternative is shingles. That's the same way that I feel about the flu shot. It's like, if it's free, and this is coming from someone that did not get the flu shot the last two years, but certainly got it, well, certainly got it this year because I didn't have a cost, and I don't want to deal with influenza. Mm -hmm. And it, we've known that it's been in Muscatine. Mm -hmm. Same thing with shingles. Like, we know that there's been cases of people having shingles Oh, shingles is everywhere. Yes, right. shingles is very, very prevalent. Mm -hmm. um, it does not discriminate against age, gender, mm -hmm. anything like that. Um, shingles, basically what it is is if you had the chicken pox as a child, it means that we, and anyone that's 50 and older, the CDC says that 99% of people were around the chicken pox. Oh, yeah. So even if you didn't have an active case yeah. of chicken pox as a child, you still need the vaccine because your brother, your sister, your neighbor, somebody mm -hmm. that you played with had it. Your body was able to fight it off so you didn't have an active case of it. Sure. Um, but it means that it's still laying dormant in your body. You! So then some type of health stress, stress in your life, something makes the um, disease reactivate in your body and it resorts in shingles. Well, it seems like a lot of, for a lot of people, stress can have a negative impact on your immune system. Correct. So yeah. you're not, you're not, you know, you're, your body's not fighting as much and then you let that guard down thanks to stress and life mm -hmm. and boom, here comes shingles. Yeah, that's, no, I had chicken pox back in the day. I'm 35, so I'm still a couple years away from uh, the Shingrix vaccine, but it's just Something exciting. Something to put on your calendar yeah, for 15 right, years from now. Yeah, that's right, my, my planner. Mm -hmm. Boy, these pictures, something else, huh? <laughs> just for the folks at home, making sure that they know, right? You don't want to do You do this. not want that, because it looks no, bad, but it no. also itches, and mm. it burns. And well, just the nerve pain, yes. like... I don't want to, and think of it this way, like if you're over 50, I mean, I just found out I needed glasses. I don't want to have anything that could affect my vision. Yes. Like this is where it comes down to, if you can be proactive and do things for your goo, for yourself, to keep yourself healthy, you should do it. And just remember the only place within a hundred miles an hour 500 miles. Tony likes the to only stretch place it, but in the Midwest. The only place in, in Muscatine, America. we can definitely say. The only place in Muscatine. No doctors, no other pharmacies. We have close to a thousand doses. Come on in. We'll get you taken care of as quickly as possible. Do they need an, Do they need a prescription to get this? Do they? No prescription. Okay. So nope. you just so everyone literally. that's fifty and older can just walk in. Okay. So at this moment, someone could be getting yeah. the Shingrix vaccine yeah. as we're sitting here talking. That's correct. So yep. think about that as well. Similar to the flu shot, just walk in, get it taken care of. This is going to keep you healthy and. Hopefully you don't have to ever worry about shingles because you're going to get the series. Okay, so here's a question I just thought of. So this is a two-shot series. So I get Correct. the first shot. I come back in a couple months. I get the second one. And then am I good? Correct. I don't have to As come back now, in 10 years? or Correct. As okay. of now, the CDC states that it is just these two vaccines and then you are good to go. Now, let's not hold our breath because right. things always change and there's better options that always become available. Mm -hmm. But for now, it is a two-shot series. No, it's good. Debbie on Facebook says that she's never had chicken pox, which is great. And I don't, I don't know how old Debbie is, but, you know, if you're 50 years or older, this is something that even if you, correct me if I'm wrong, you, even if you did not have even chicken pox. Even if you pox, didn't have chicken pox because still, you were still probably around yeah. someone If you at went some to school. In, exactly. Right. And school exactly. is a Petri dish, essentially. Mm -hmm. Yes. No And offense. just because I mean, you didn't have an active outbreak right. 
does not mean that you did not have, like my parents could never say whether I actually had the chicken pox or not. Mm -hmm. Because my brother had a very bad case. To harm it. You know, I might have had a couple spots here or there that they never saw. But yeah. that doesn't mean that when I'm 50, I'm definitely getting this. Why wouldn't I? There's yeah. no risk at getting the vaccine versus, oh, there's a little child with Is that a picture pox. of your brother when he had chicken pox? That kind of looks like I was like going to say, brother. right? Blonde hair, blue eyes. It could Shout be. out to Olsen Family Dentistry, everybody. Yes, um, exactly. Yes, no, that's funny, right? Yeah, the poor <laughs> kids. I remember chicken pox was rough. You had to put all that cameline, cameline, is that what it was? The old, calamine lotion. Calamine, thank you. The, yeah. Colloidal oatmeal baths yeah. that people will soak in. No, yep. No, I don't want to do that again. And and now, thank God, there's a, a shot for chicken pox. Correct. It doesn't correct. even exist really anymore, which is nice. I mean, I'm sure in rare cases. A few it cases does. here yeah, and course, there, well, but yeah, not the smart one. I'm not like assuming. when we were children. It was very it was prevalent. A thing. Everyone got chicken pox. Yeah, I remember. I mean, I, I maybe was, uh, I don't know, six or seven years old. So we're talking about 1989, 1990. Well, and I even know that parents used to put their kids around kids that actively had chicken pox. Hashtag chicken pox party. Yep, because they wanted them to have chicken pox before they were in school or before yep. something other life event occurred that... Yeah. Mom it's kind of like kind of like when fifth grade started and everybody had braces except this guy. You know what I thought? I thought I was uh, I felt I felt like I was missing out. And my I'm dentist sorry. said, "You don't need braces. You've just got a slight overbite." And I was like, "Thank you, doc." So I saved my parents some money, right? Look at that. That would be that would save a lot of money. A lot of dough. Mm-hmm. So look at it this way. Um, and if you have questions about like your insurance or you know if you if you do have the Medicare, whatever the question you have. Just People like us. Nicole are going to have the answer. I don't know the answer, but that's where Nicole's expertise and Trey and Sam and everybody that's at the pharmacy will be able to help you so that you don't feel like... Because I think sometimes with healthcare. People feel like, yeah, this is cool. That's good to know, but I can't afford it, or, or I, I this, don't know if it's for me. This is affordable. Yeah, this yeah, is, yeah. I mean, it's an expensive vaccine. Uh, without insurance, it's $184.99, but... Most people these days have some type of coverage. Exactly. And like we were saying before, if you're 65 and under still on an employer's insurance, it's going to be free. It's considered yep. preventative, just like a flu shot. And at this point in the year, for a lot of people, like myself included, you might be at that point where you've like hit your deductible mm-hmm. and everything's free. Mm-hmm. So Yep, it's a great time I mean, of year to get it taken care whatever, of. Whatever excuse you need to have, to just understand that if, if you're 50 years or older, shingles is real. We've talked to people that it's affected, in, uh, and the only place you can go is, this isn't even like a, like a marketing ploy. This is just, no. the, like, that's the fact. The doctors. This is the fact. I feel bad because I got a lot of friends that are doctors and they don't even have this sorry like yeah but you you have to remember too if you get it at your doctor's office Mm -hmm. you're probably going to pay the cash price for it because it's only covered by um the prescription coverage if you're 65 and older well that's not good i don't want to do that Mm -hmm. i want to come to hy-vee i want to get my shingrix vaccine and and then five cents fuel saver yes think about that. Every prescription gets five cent fuel savers. So when was the last time you got a shot and you saved money on gas at the same time? And if you part never if you parlayed it and you did get the flu shot and the shingle. You get twenty five cents. I'm pretty good at math. Mm Twenty five cents. Not too shabby, right? Pretty good deal. Okay, so until you hear me tell you all otherwise, we've got the Shingrix shot and it's ready to go. So come in and get it. And there it says right there, your best shot against shingles is here. It's ready to go. Nobody else has it in Muscatine. Walk in, get it done. If you had the first shot and you've been waiting to get the second one because it yeah, was if, on that back order, it's ready. If you got ready. the first one somewhere else, you can still come here and get the oh. second shot. You don't have to go to the same place. So you have You want to get it within choice. that six month time period. Right. That's very important. Otherwise it won't be as effective. Correct. Yeah, you're, look at you're me. You're smart. Thank you. Oh my God. Well, it's all that. It's all about that extra semester at St. Ambrose, Nicole. That's where I really, 4. really. Four point five years. Yeah, I really dialed it in during that extra semester. Well, I'm glad and to hear that. I got my learning on. So, mm-hmm. all right, very good. Thank you for being here. No, thank um, you for having me, folks at home. Seriously, have this conversation. Um, this is an important topic, right? We got to take care of ourselves, and if you can do it at low to no cost and just get it over with even if you don't like shots you don't want shingles no nobody wants that it's just like with the flu shot you don't want to be in the hospital with influenza if you can prevent it correct 
<sighs> All right, get that taken care of. Thank you for being here. I Thank appreciate it. Thank you for it. having me. Get the shingles shot at Stop the Hy-Vee we'll Pharmacy. All right, very good. So are we going to show people cookies right now? Nicole, this is what these guys are doing to me. They got the aisle camera set up in the bakery. It's just it's someone that's on a diet. It just hurts my feeling. It's got all these cookies in the shot. I'm almost glad that it's not on the screen right now. There we go. Oh, perfect. Oh, there it is. Great. Right. Wonderful. Delicious. Well, that's just marvelous. Just cookies on top of cookies. Cookie inception, everybody. Look at that. Ay, ay, ay. I almost got a donut this morning, if I'm being totally honest. But I turned down the old willpower, and I, uh, I did not. Hey, look at that. Tess. Chef Tess chiming in from Denver, Colorado. Rocky Mountain High, Colorado. Chef Tess, good morning to you. Thanks for watching. And we miss you, Chef Tess. All right, Ryan Broderson. Salvation Army has their Kettle Bell kickoff campaign. Say that three times fast. I can't do it. This Thursday, you can stop by Calvary Church across the street, right, well, across the street from Hybee, off Highway 61. It's their annual Kettle kickoff, the campaign to have folks volunteer their time to ring the bell for the Salvation Army at the various Kettle locations, including your Muscatine hy I encourage you, I implore you, and quite frankly, I'm challenging classrooms of kids. Let's get signed up, let's volunteer, and let's help raise money for the Salvation Army so that they can continue serving folks in Muscatine County. And I would be remiss if I didn't mention, starting on Monday, the 26th of November, you can donate food to the Hawkeye Hauler truck that will be in the parking lot here at Hy-Vee, part of two weeks of love and freezing for food. Let's make that a success and always looking to help folks in our community. We need to do that for sure. All right, on Facebook, you may have seen this. Ryan Broderson, Chad, people don't know what I'm about to say. But let's put the holiday meal graphic on the screen and what I'm going to tell you is pretty exciting. We are going to give away one of these dinners. So if you don't have time, if you're working, or if you just want to take a year off of cooking, you can call hy 563-264-2420. You can talk to Kim Beckman. You can email Kim, 1437kitchenmgr at hy com and pick up a dinner, which can include a 10 to 12 pound turkey that's carved up or a five pound ham. It's on the screen right there. We're going to give one of these away. Uh, full package is an $89 value, which is a very affordable price and a half pack for 50 bucks. Everything would be ready to go. All you would have to do is call the store and then pick it up and you're set. You can pick it up cold. You can pick it up hot. It's ready for you. They got a lot of turkeys they're preparing. I told Kim, if you need somebody to sample the turkeys, We'd be happy to do it, right? I'm excited for Thanksgiving. I can't believe that it's next week, right? We're saying that out loud. It doesn't feel right. Ryan and Chad are shaking their heads. It doesn't feel right. I mean, I, I, I for one, I'm surprised. And just a programming note, we won't be here on Thanksgiving doing the show or the Friday after. Um, I will be uh, with at least one or two of my children volunteering at the Salvation Army on Thanksgiving, serving some meals. I encourage you to do the same. So another shameless plug for the Salvation Army. Something that's coming up this Thursday is a Moonlight Madness sale here at Hy-Vee. You can see this advertised on the back of the Voice Muscatine newspaper. It's from 4 to 10 p.m. only. And look at the price on bacon. Look at the price on the ground round. And Ryan Broderson, look at that price on Sturgings or Sturgeons or Sturgeons, Sterlings, Sturgeons potato chips. The original recipe is back. We're going to talk to Craig Smith, who is the owner of uh, Sturgeons, on Thursday morning. He'll be our guest on the show. So that's exciting. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm a fan of Sturgeons. They've also got this really good popcorn that's on that ad as well. Check that out, Rye Guy. Movie theater style popcorn, 10 for 10 bucks. Can't beat it. And uh, some great deals that are only available during that Thursday Moonlight Madness sale. That's this Thursday, 15th of November. Look at that jerky price, y'all. Look at that. $1.99 for Jack Links. Wow. It's a good deal. I'm telling you. I mean, it says it right there, but I mean, you know. I just got to drive home the fact. And how about a four-pack of muffins for $1.99? While supplies last, I would get here early and take advantage of that. Moonlight madness, everybody. 4 to 10 this Thursday, the 15th of November.
November. Okay, don't miss out on that one. Something that we put on Facebook and we have a picture of, and we talked about this with Renee uh, from Southern Glazers Wine and Spirits on Friday. I just want to keep mentioning, if you're looking for gift ideas for friends, family, coworkers that are hard to shop for, maybe they're a, they're a fan of Maker's Mark, it's a good deal. You can get two of these Maker's Mark gift sets featuring a bottle of Maker's Mark whiskey, the airplane size bottle of Maker's Mark whiskey that also doubles as an ornament. And then there is literally an ornament inside there. So two of them for $50.99. Renee was kind enough last week to show us the ornament, and that's a good deal. So Maker's Mark is a quality product, and that's a great gift set. Wine and Spirits, two of those for $50. So think about it. Like if you had two people you didn't know what to buy for, and you're like, I don't know what to get so-and-so. You can, for 50 bucks, you could take care of them. Right, two different people are like, boom, boom. You don't even have to wrap it. It's kind of like wrapped already. Maybe you put a bow on it, but yeah, just include a straw. I don't know, whatever you want to do, it's a good deal. Um, all right, I'm just looking at my list of things I wanted to mention. Um, we, we talked with Vicki uh, Anderson with Spangler Church about you know, the soup supper, but then also she's kind of a musician, which is cool. And uh, from the Muscatine Journal's website, how about a shout out to this gentleman, a local Muscatine musician that is winning big, right? So it says it right there, Muscatine country gospel artist wins gold, ladies and gentlemen. I saw that this morning and I felt like we should give this guy, I don't even know his name. Let's scroll down a little bit, Ryan. I got to give him a shout out. Uh, that is Michael Phillips. And it says right there, sits in his music studio in Muscatine, received four Silver Heart Awards in August and a Golden Heart Award in October from the Country Gospel Music Association. So people are very talented in this town. They do a variety of things. I, I feel like I know this guy uh, just from, you know, being out and about, but I didn't know that he was uh, an award-winning musician. So we might have to reach out to him and have him on this program. That's very cool. Maybe even a little bit. It looked like he plays the steel pedal guitar. Like, if you look at that picture of the awards, I think that's a steel pedal guitar that they're sitting on. And I'm a big fan of that. That is absolutely a steel pedal guitar or a pedal steel guitar, however you want to say it. It'd be kind of fun to have him in here jamming out on that. So might have to reach out. Michael Phillips, right? All right, we'll reach out to him and invite him onto this program. All right, uh, a couple more things, and then we'll get out of here for the day. So Crown Royal Embroidery Event. Save the date, Mike Stockdale. You don't want to miss this one. Crown Royal going to be here embroidering their bags. You could have your name, your nickname, your friend's name. If you need a gift idea for somebody, there's one that I had done for myself. It's a good deal. November 30th from 5 to 7 at Wine and Spirits. Get that bag of Crown embroidered. No charge for the embroidery. Pick up the bottle of Crown. And uh, it looks good. And I still have about half of that bottle of Crown Vanilla in my refrigerator right now. So that's an excellent opportunity. Again, tis the season. You're going to be thinking of gift ideas. If you have someone that's tough to shop for, take care of them. Uh, two more things that we'll wrap up. The no wait drive times, uh, holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas, busy you need things. You're coming to a place like Hy-Vee, picking up your groceries, whatever the reason is that you're here. You don't want to wait at the register. And from 4 to 7, Monday through Friday, and 10 to 3 on Saturday and Sundays, we have staffed more folks so that it is all hands on deck. No waiting. I can't wait until like next week and as we get close to Christmas when we have all of the registers open. You know, there are some places... And they don't even have like a register or two open. And I don't understand that. You shouldn't have to wait. I mean, when people, t I don't know. I don't know. I, I would never wait 20, 30 minutes in line anywhere. And that does not happen at Hy-Vee. It, it, we frankly won't allow it. So no matter if it's between 4 or 7 or 10 and 3 or 8 a.m. or what time is it right now? If it's uh, 9.24 and say we had a mad rush of people, they would call everybody up front to help. It's just how hy -Vee does it. We understand that you're busy. We appreciate the time that you want to spend with your family and friends and the fact that you're already coming here. Maybe there's some inclement weather and you're doing some shopping. We want to get you out of here because we value you. So it's all hands on deck, y'all. And that including, includes these hands that have gotten really good at bagging groceries. I don't want to brag, but maybe I'll enter the, the bagging contest at the Iowa State Fair next year. You know, they pay people like a decent amount of money to do that. I don't know if I'm that good, but I feel like I like money, so I would try. I don't know. Paper or plastic? What's the answer? You know what the answer is sometimes? I brought my own bag. 
It's a good move. We've got those here, too, if you need them, by the way. All right. Uh, last thing that we'll plug is the Disney trivia coming up next week. Holy moly. Can't believe it. We've got some reservations. I would say call us before, uh, you know, this could, I don't want to say it could sell out because it's free to play, but there might not be any seats. So don't wait. This is coming up next Monday, the 19th, from 6 to 8 p.m. All things Disney trivia. So that would include things like Disney movies and Disney theme parks and characters. Everything in between we will do probably 10 rounds of trivia with 8 to 10 questions per round. First place team will receive a $35 hy gift card. Second place team, $25 hy gift card. And third place, $15 gift card. Again, it is free to play. I get asked a lot, how much does it cost to play bingo and play trivia? Free, free. So come out. We had like 80 people do Harry Potter trivia, and we've had fun with Harry Potter trivia and bingo. And again, bingo tonight, the 13th of November. I am tired of talking, y'all. Thanks to Vicki Anderson with the Spangler Chapel uh, Soup Stuffer for coming on the show. Vicki and the crew would love to see you tomorrow starting at 4 o'clock. If Ryan Broderson is slick, he'll give you that graphic one more time. Just for another shameless plug, good opportunity to eat well on a Wednesday. You don't have to do the cooking and let Spangler Chapel and the crew take care of you. It is being held at uh, New Hope Church, which is off of Tipton Road here in Muscatine. From 4 till 6.30, $9 for adults. A variety of soups available for you, including uh, some loose meat hamburger sandwiches. Look at that. Boom. There it is. It's all there. We'll do a little slow scroll, and we'll thank Vicki Anderson again for joining the show. Carry out available. Hit me with that location, Rye Guy. There we go. 3215 Tipton Road. Check that out. And uh, thanks to hy Pharmacy Manager Nicole Duelmeyer for taking the time to be here. And as Nicole told you, when it comes to getting that shingles vaccine, it's called the Shingrix Shot. The only place that has it and has a lot of it is your Muscatine hy Pharmacy. If you're 50 years or older... Get the Shingrix shot. It's a series of two shots. Get the first one and then wait two to three months. Get the second one and keep yourself safe from shingles. You don't want to deal with that. No fun. And while you're here and if you haven't got a flu shot, you might as well get that taken care of. No appointment necessary for the Shingrix, the shingles vaccine. No appointment necessary uh, for the flu shot either. And they will take care of you. All right. Tomorrow is uh, World Diabetes Day, and we will talk to a variety of folks about diabetes, and it's going to be a busy show, and we hope that you'll join us for that. And then on Thursday, Craig Smith with Sturzings, he'll be here, and I'll probably say it right. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, I'm not trying to say it wrong. I like their products. I'm not trying to be a wise guy. I told Craig he should bring some samples for Ryan. Yeah, right? And Chad. I'll probably have a sample, too. You know, Not going to hurt, right? And uh, if you're a fan of Sturgeon's, you know, check it out. Their stuff is great. And the popcorn will surprise you, I think. That's, that surprised me with how good that was first time I tried that. All right, thanks for watching hy Today. Thanks to CBI Bank & Trust. Thanks to Toyota of Muscatine and team staffing. But most importantly, thanks to all of you that watch the show. And if you ever have any guest suggestions, that's how Vicky got here guest suggestion from some coworkers, and here she was on the show and she did a great job you can email the show at hy today at gmail.com you can reach out on our facebook page hy V parentheses 2400 second avenue muscatine iowa or you can call us at the store you can call me 563-264-2420 whatever it takes if you have someone in mind that you think we should feature we would love to do that Catch the replays weeknights on Muscatine Power and Water, Channel 5 at 7.30 and 10.30 p.m. Until we do it again, take care, everybody. Come play bingo tonight. You could be a winner. Thanks for watching High V Today with Tony Tone. We'll do it again tomorrow with more local guests from in and around the Muscatine community. Questions, comments, know a great guest? Reach out to High V Today with Tony Tone on Facebook or via email, Today at gmail.com.